this is fantasy this is fantasy campaign um, this is our submission for the chain link fall hackathon so basically what it is is it's just a proof of concept of a dungeon crawler slash RPG game where users create their own NFT ERC 721s and they can explore a campaign or a dungeon which is generated using Chainlink VRF for um, the turn and what happens on the turn and the combat mechanics. So this is just going to explain some of the um, videos, some proof of concept play. So here we are. We go to the selection screen and we can choose between a variety of classes and mint our character. Once we mint our character, we can just enter into the maze or the dungeon or the campaign. We get in and we see this kind of old school uh, nostalgic dungeon and some first person and we have a mini map and can walk around and trigger things to happen. So when we arrive at a spot, um, we call the smart contract on the back end to call the chain link VRF and then on callback it generates a turn where we have to fight in this case and defeat a mob. So we use our ability and strike the mob and we strike the mob again. And once we've defeated it, and each call to the smart contract is using the Chainlink VRF as a random seed to kind of decide the combat mechanics. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go and generate a turn. And we get to fight another mob. And these could be implemented to be more dynamic in the future, like multiple mobs or different events or puzzles or different kinds of loot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So we fight this guy. We take him down. And now this is a really cool part. So the whole dungeon is secured by zero knowledge proof technology so what happens when you get to this gate which is kind of the end of the dungeon if you haven't completed all the events the browser will automatically know that the smart contract to fight the last boss will fail like the proof you submit um, to the smart contract will fail to the verifier so it, it, auto it tells you hey like you haven't completed all this stuff you got to go back and do more do more things and finish finish all the stuff you have to do before you can fight the final boss so we navigate back there um, and we end up looting this really cool dragon lance so great art um, this is the dragon slayer's ice lance we're going to need this or can use this to defeat the final dragon boss and we loot him And this is just calling the smart contract to add this to our inventory. Uh, in this game gameplay, I believe we don't actually use the Ice Lance, but in the final version of the code that's uploaded to GitHub and uh, verified on Polygon Scan, we do use this to fight the final boss. So we're going to navigate back now. And once we get there, ta-da, the gate opens. It knows that we are at ability to generate the final turn. So now what it's doing is super cool. It's generating our proof um, in browser um, from Circom and SnarkJS to submit to the ZKP verifier on chain that we have made valid moves through the dungeon and that we are ready to fight Draco, who is our final boss here. And we're going to take him down. And so we submit some combat. And like I said, in the current, the uploaded version uh, to GitHub, you can actually use that Ice Lance to attack him um, as well as your character's, uh, character's ability. So once the combat sequence, we have a couple more I think going on here. And like I said, the Chainlink VRF is the seed that determines you know if you dodge or block or all that stuff. And that's dynamically created on the turn. So you vanquish the dragon, he flies away, and that is it. Um, all the stuff, uh, there's a lot of other cool stuff that could be implemented into this, such as uh, items persisting outside of the game, um, whole token structure, items that drop, um, other ZKP tech, so really a lot of extensions that can go along with this. 
Um, hope you enjoyed. Definitely check out the GitHub and the dev posts for more information.